Okay, so while we're talking about solubility and things that affect solubility, um, something else that affects solubility is called complex ion formation. So there is a given list of complex ions in your textbook. I would always give you the list of complex ions. Um, you would not be expected to memorize them or know their names or anything like that. But first let's define what this is and then we'll work through some examples. So the first is, well, what complex ion formation is, how it works with um, solubility equilibria is it's when a salt ionizes, when a salt is dissolved, in a solution, and one of the ions reacts with the solution to produce a complex ion. Now there's a list of complex ions and um, complex means like apartment complex of how these are linked together, not complex like complicated. Um, depending on the version of the textbook that you're looking there, looking at, there are lists of complex ions, and um, I would always tell you which complex ion we were talking about, and you would not be responsible for the name or anything like that. So complex ion equilibria in this version of the second edition of the textbook is um, on page 745, it's section 16.10. So we are going to look at an example of a complex ion formation, um, but in every case of complex ion formation, it will increase the solubility because the salt that produced the ions that's reacting with the solution, it's going to increase solubility because it's going to shift the equilibrium to the reactants, sorry, to the product side and the products are aqueous, so that means it's gonna increase solubility. It's gonna increase solubility because the reacting of the ion that's breaking apart with something that's already in the solution is gonna drive the equilibrium to the right, which is gonna increase solubility. So the best way to explain this is to just do an example. So let's say calculate the molar solubility of silver 1 bromide in 1.0 molar ammonia. And it tells you in the problem that the KSP of silver 1 bromide is 5.0 times 10 to the negative 13th. And it tells you the KF is the KF of the complex ion is 1.7 times 10 to the positive seventh. So don't forget, we've been doing a lot of these equilibria constants that have been very um, small numbers. This KF is the, um, it's the, equilibrium constant of formation, formation of the complex ion is a positive number. So you are going to be in the habit of doing a lot of negative exponents. Just don't forget and accidentally put a negative up here or when you're in your calculator type a negative. This is a positive exponent. These conf Complex, uh, complex ion formation constants are big numbers, big numbers because they favor the products. Okay, so I'm telling you what the complex ion is. This is the complex ion. This is the KF of the complex ion. This is the salt, silver bromide, and you're dissolving it in 
um, an ammonia solution. So as this silver bromide breaks apart, the silver ions are gonna combine with the ammonia in the solution to form this complex ion. So two things are happening. One, the salt is ionizing. And two, the complex ion is forming. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna write out these two equilibria. We are gonna add them together. When we add them together, we will multiply the Ksp times the Kf. So first, we will write out the equilibria, write out each equilibria. Second, we will add the equilibria together. And then when we add the equilibria, we will multiply the Ksp times the Kf to get a new K for the reaction. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. So step one, the salt is ionizing. So let's write that out. So I have the silver one bromide breaking apart to form silver ions plus bromine ions. That's the first step. And the Ksp of that reaction is 5.0 times 10 to the negative 13th. So now the complex ion is forming because as these bromine ions, sorry, as the silver ions are produced, they are gonna react with the ammonia that is in the solution. So maybe I don't know how that's gonna work, but I know what I'm forming is this complex ion. So because I have this complex ion, I can write what the reactants are. So for every one silver ion that gets produced, I need two ammonia from the solution. So now these are my two equilibria. And for the formation of this complex ion, the Kf is 1.7 times 10 to the positive seventh. So like I said, I'm gonna take these two equilibria, I'm going to add them together. So I, I wrote out the two equilibria. Now I'm gonna add them together. And when I add them together, I'm gonna to multiply the Ksp and the Kf. So let's add these two equilibria together. So I have silver one ions on the reactant side and the product side of this reaction. So they're gonna cancel each other out. So I'm gonna have silver one bromine bromide solid, that's my salt, plus two ammonia, that's in the solution. It's gonna produce my bromide ions plus my complex ion. So I added the two equilibria together. When I add the equilibria together, I need to multiply the Ksp, 5.0, times 10 to the negative 13th times the Kf, 1.7 times 10 to the positive seventh. And when I do this, I get a new K for the reaction, which is 8.5 times 10 to the negative sixth. So now this is my reaction in my equilibrium table. So the problem told me, this is not included because it's a solid, I start out with one molar um, ammonia, so 1.0 goes here. I don't start out with any bromine ions and I don't start out with any complex ion. So the change, this is gonna be minus 2x, don't forget, because there's a two there. So this is gonna be 1.0 minus 2x. And then this is gonna be plus x plus x, so x and x. So now I'm gonna set all of this equal, everything in the equilibrium row, 
I'm gonna set that equal to my k. So I'm gonna say k is equal to x times x is x squared. Remember, this the coefficient here becomes the exponent, so this is gonna be 1.0 minus 2x squared. So now this is a perfect square. I can take the square root of both sides. So when I do that, I get 2.9 times 10 to the negative third equals x over 1.0 minus 2x. So I'll multiply both sides by 1.0 minus 2x. 1.0 minus 2x. And when I do that, I get 0 0.0029 minus 0.0058x equals x over here. 1x is what I had left over. So I'm going to add this 0.0058x to both sides. And I get 0.0029 equals 1.0058x. So I divide both sides by 1.0058. And I get an x of 2.9 times 10 to the negative third. Remember what x is. x is the molar solubility. So x is 2.9 times 10 to the negative third molar. That is the amount of silver bromide that will ionize if it is dissolved in a one molar ammonia solution. The reason for that is because the ammonia can form a complex ion with the silver that is being ionized as the silver breaks apart, the silver bromide breaks apart. If, and this is just really small over here, let's compare this to if we had silver bromide in water. So remember, this is always gonna increase solubility. So let's see if we just had silver bromide in water. So remember, the KSP of silver bromide is 5.0 times 10 to the negative 13th. So let's just write this out over here, real small. So this doesn't count, this I have zero, zero, plus x, plus x, x, x. So essentially it's gonna be 5.0 times 10 to the negative 13th equals x squared. If I take the square root of both sides of this, x or molar solubility is 7.1 times 10 to the negative seventh molar. So silver bromide solubility in water is 7.1 times 10 to the negative seventh molar. Silver one bromide's molarity um, molar solubility in one molar ammonia is 2.9 times 10 to the negative third molar. So you see that solubility increases because of this complex ion formation. You will always be provided a list of the complex ions that can be formed with their KFs. Um, so you would know how to write these equilibria because you know what complex ion is being formed. Something that's really important to pay attention to is that usually there are coefficients or um, sub uh, coefficients here. So the stoichiometry does play a, a factor um, in the change. And then also when you are writing the equilibria expression, remember coefficients become exponents. Um, so this is an example of a complex ion formation. Something else that impacts molar solubility, complex ion formation will always increase solubility.